Hello guys and welcome back to Let's Play Vampire. I am gonna be mostly continuing the main story because while I know that we still have one district that's doing very badly, I nearly fell asleep talking with all of the people yesterday. Most definitely not my favorite part of the game. So let's the just do dying. fun things. Ooh. Hello! You must prepare, child, for the earth is bleeding and the harvest is upon us. Stay away, whoever you are. This is no time for petty quarrels, my champion. Can you not hear? The famished queen has awoken. <laughs> insist you be quiet. Son, do you not see? You are the healing bar. I had to kill Mary. I have known your pain, child. Do not succumb to it. Silence! I dismiss you now! The land calls for a champion. All and everyone needs you. Silence! How? Why would you talk like I'm that to all these puppet shows? A, an ancient. You might have at least listened to what he had to say. I mean, it's not like you can actually kill him and yelling "Go away!" won't really do much. Whatever this poor woman did, nobody deserves this kind of punishment. That looked like the dude that attacked me previously. Right, of multiple versions of that dude. Good! Wait, is that... Is that... DSP face. I need glasses. How is there? Oh, okay. How is there hunters in this the vampire club territory? Oh god. You okay over there, buddy? You have fun over there. I don't so think this is where she lives. What a splendid house. I don't think that that guy was even hunting me. He looked like a civilian. Ooh. Well, I would hope that the district is stable. I mean, who is there to fall Dr. ill? Reed. Welcome. How are you? As good as one can be, considering the circumstances. Yes. Death and affliction seem prevailing themes of late. Please, come in. We have much to discuss. Hello, lady. I buried my sister twice. I hope I haven't disturbed you. Not at all. Actually, I was counting on you visiting me tonight. How strange, this painting. Beautiful, melancholic, yet with a haunting dignity. Indeed. A long time ago, a friend asked me to paint this for him. But I kept it in the end. I did not know you were a painter, my lady. 
There are many things you do not know about me, young Ekon. Why did you sound so angry? Uh, Mouse, thank you. Please, call me Jonathan. Please excuse my behavior, Jonathan. I tend to tease my friends when uneasy. What is bothering you, my lady? Your letter was quite alarming. We will talk about this in a few minutes. For now, I would like you to tell me about yourself. How have you been since we last met, my friend? I killed my sister twice! My sister Mary. She was made a vampire in the same way I was. She was the one killing all those people everywhere I went. Vengeance is a powerful force for those betrayed. Made vampire through careless error. Victims by surprise. I swear I did not intend that. If only I had known then how vampires are created. That is the scientist speaking. In truth, most of us do not know how it really works. Personally, I make sure my prey will not return to haunt me. What do you mean? I am merciless, Jonathan. I only feed on the dying. And I make sure they are dead before leaving their remains. So you mean you cut their heads off? In the end, she implored me to put an end to her misery. But still, I felt I had taken her life twice. I am so sorry for my accidental cruelty. Had I known your dear Mary was still alive, I would never have sent you to pray for her soul in that church. There is no need to apologize, my lady. Your words have been most helpful in these difficult times. Thank you, my friend. If only we could have guided your poor sister through her terrible nightmare. You always sound like you're mocking me. I came to the conclusion that my maker, whoever he might be, must be a powerful vampire. Certainly extremely old. How have you reached this conclusion? He has horns! He is the only immortal I've seen appear in an ethereal form. His voice, his words seemed ancient. It was disturbing. I am afraid you are right. The simple fact that your blood made Mary such a strong Ekon proves that you must be of ancient lineage. How did she ever get my blood? Even if I... what? I felt this power radiating like an aura every time he appeared. Most ancestral vampires of England were killed by the guard of Prewen half a century ago. I wonder who your maker could be. You have no idea who he could be? Some of the ancient ones fled England. Some may still be in hiding. All I know is you, my friend are a pawn in some secret and obscure game of chess. The only way I could think of is... Oh! Oh yeah! I shot myself. Because I was like, did I cry into her mouth? I think I should ask the questions, Your Ladyship. After all, it was you who invited me to settle this most urgent of matters. Fair enough, Jonathan. The situation is critical. We do not have the luxury for etiquette. Please do not misunderstand me. I would be delighted to discuss that true and idle trivialities. If we survive the dark nights to come, we shall have all the time in the world to speak. You I didn't have that much for blood now, over me, and I was mostly uninjured. So did I cry into her mouth? I must say, your house is exquisite. One of the advantages of living forever is having the time to be selective with one's furnishings. I took the liberty of having tea served. You can still drink tea. Can't keep it down, but I do so enjoy the aroma. Let us toast to make believe. And of course, to your health, Jonathan. And to yours, my lady. Please. 
Please, call me Elizabeth. So, my lady, why truly did you invite me here? I've been asked to deliver an official invitation to meet the Ascalon Club. I have killed one of them. Do you think that might be an issue? Why use you to contact me? Because they know we are close. The Ascalon Club has many spies. Their main occupation is gathering information and then deciding how to use it. We are close. <laughs> Why not ask for your help? Since you are obviously a powerful and influential immortal yourself. You have to understand that I am invisible to the eyes of Ascalon, for I am a woman. That suits me well, as long as they leave me alone. I do not see how that should matter in vampirism. Have they threatened you in any way? Not at all. Their message surprised me at first. But it is only logical, considering the critical situation in London. Who are they? Really? They are the embodiment of vampire law in Britain. Some say they influence the destiny of the Empire. Some believe they merely protect it. How many are they? Only a small number of powerful and deceitful immortals. All of them in The way that they like moving, it's cabinets, it's almost like they're flirting with each other. It's really weird. Will they fight the guard of Prewin? I doubt it. Fergal was Lord Redgrave's executioner forever and a day. By defeating that beast, you deprived them of a powerful weapon. Does that mean I can kill the rest too? Was that the hardest one to Should kill? Should I trust them? Of course not. Do not misunderstand me. They can be very useful. But I believe their long-term goals differ from yours. Should I lie to them? We all lie, Jonathan. It falls to you to choose your behavior. The most important rule is to show them due respect. Why meet them then? Because nothing truly important can be achieved in this city without their consent. They could be powerful allies in this current situation. Slaughter! W would slaughter be acceptable? They have done nothing but impede my investigation since I became known to them. Why would they want to see me now? I guess they now see you as Ascalon material. They must have found out what happened to your sister. Proof of the potent blood flowing through your veins. I'm not sure I can accept their invitation. I have seen their handiwork. How Fergal the Beast imposed the club's law. You have no choice, Jonathan. Even I would not openly defy Lord Redgrave, the chairman of the Ascalon Club. That is... That's almost like a pirate name. Like, you know, R Redbeard? This guy's like, I'm Redgrave! What can you tell me about Lord Redgrave? Who is he? Lord Redgrave is the founder and chairman of the Ascalon Club. Most mortals know him as the Earl of Bristol. He is rich and extremely influential. Have you met him? Only on rare occasions, for he never goes outside the club. And women are not awarded membership, even immortals. How old is he? How long has he been a vampire? Lord Redgrave claims to be the progeny of William Marshall. The most valiant knight who ever lived. If that is true, he could be very old. When they say very old, it almost sounds like they mean he's like 500. And I'm pretty sure that Moose Man is a bit older than 500. The Ascalon Club may be the most influential secret society in England. Not all its members are immortals but they are all very powerful. They are not all immortals. How is that? The club is mainly comprised of political figures who seek the safety and expansion of the empire. The most loyal 
are awarded immortality. Any familiar or famous names? As the richest, most relentless British tycoon, Aloysius Dawson is considered ideal Ascalon material and has been watched for years. Is that guy that rips off tendencies and that other critical place? If you are convinced I must meet him, I will heed your advice. Thank you, Jonathan. I understand your reluctance to brush shoulders with London's vampire elite. But we have no choice. Is the situation that critical? Yes. The Guard of Prewen has called for a second great hunt of our kind. And they will stop at nothing to eliminate us. Will the Guard of Prewen and the Ascalon Club fight each other? I doubt it. If Prewen really launched a great hunt, I think most of the Ekons I know would flee the country to escape the bloodbath. I think I saw them kill an Ekon on the way to your house. They seem to have a list with names. To launch another great hunt, they must have collected intelligence on vampire identities and whereabouts. They are a resourceful lot. Should we fight back? I will not be hunted down like an animal again. I admire your courage, Jonathan. But the best way to fight them is to put an end to the epidemic. This is the only way to clear the air. Alternatively, I could kill them all, then I could kill the Ascalon Club, then I could take care of the epidemic. You should flee then. Leave London, the country even. I have seen the guard in action. They are merciless. Your concern warms my heart, Jonathan. But fear not. If the situation gets too dangerous, I shall retreat to my secret Scottish manor. I could hide you in my luggage, if you wish. <laughs> I shall keep it in mind, but I have much to do here. There is a question I must ask you. Could Lord Redgrave be my maker? I can answer that, no! If Lord Redgrave had made you his progeny, he would not have seemed so surprised when you demonstrated the strength of your lineage. Those two questions are so pointless. One day soon, I will have to find the answer to this mystery. And I shall help you in your research, I promise. For now, you must go to the Ascalon Club and play their game. Will I see you again at the Pembroke Hospital? No, you will find me here if you need me. I shall conduct inquiries alone, and we can then share our discoveries. I want to thank you for all your support and your help. Could you do me a last great favor and call me Elizabeth? I should be honored, my lady. Then it is settled. Finally, some good news in these dark hours. Thank you. I appreciate the advice. I, I had best prepare myself to meet this Lord Redgrave. Now. I have yet to call you Elizabeth, despite you asking me to do so twice. Something tells me you're not very keen on the man. Don't get me wrong. The gentlemen of the Ascalon Club are honorable, but their attitude and opinions are somewhat antiquated. I see. As long as they deny access to female applicants, I will leave them to their antediluvian considerations as to the natural order of things. Jonathan, promise me you'll be careful. Of course. But why the fear in your voice? Look at me, Jonathan. I am. <laughs> I mean, really look at me, young Ekon. We may be deceptive by nature, but this heart of mine has always told the truth. Elizabeth. Come back to me soon.
She seems sour that she's not part of the boys club. And also, if Jonathan really wants to know who his maker is, why when he came back to him as an apparition did he go, Silence! Go away! Go away! Silence! So, time to visit the Ascalon Club.